Ciao. We're, we're going to um, do this one today. <laughs> <laughs> well done, son. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be helping a friend out try and get her car through at MLT. Now, it failed on a few bits and she's been quoted a thousand pounds to get it through. Now, I've looked at the failures and I don't think it's a thousand pounds worth of work. So, I've said I'll help her out. I think I can do it for close to half of that, what, what it's failed on. So I'm just going to show you now what it actually failed on, on vehicle score. So the reg is P O 13 P C Y. Obviously it gives you your score. Mileage 40,000 miles, have I got the right reg? V O not P O. Mm. Yeah. It's V O. <laughs> VO13 PCY. And it'll give us, uh, tells you uh, obviously all the other mileages and how old it is. Very high. Right, so all we're going to do now is scroll down to MOT history. So here's the latest MOT that it failed on. Now all the ones in red are your failures. So we've got offside front suspension, arm ball joint, dust cover no longer prevents ingress of dirt, which is just a, a rubber boot. But, I mean, I couldn't find the exact rubber boot, so we've just bought an arm. Um, we've got near, near side steering rack gator missing. We've got a new gator. Uh, park and brake efficiency, which is obviously to, to do with the back brakes. Offside position lamp, that's already been done, she said. And near side park and brake inoper inoperative. Again, we've got shoes, we've got new discs, we've got a fitting kit, and we've got new cables, just in case. So... Got all them parts there ready to go, and me and Vinny are going to fix it, aren't we, son? Yeah. On a Saturday. What? It's got an oil leak on it. Has it? Yeah. You sure that oil weren't just on the floor anyway? Yeah, because it's too wet. Yeah, it might have been off the other car we had on the ramp. The we'll have a look. When, we'll have a look when we get it up in the air, won't we? The, the Audi. Yeah, I don't know what car it was, son. Right, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is the wishbone, but I'm going to actually pull all the wheels off. Um, no, I'm going to pull the rears off and the near side off because all the brakes need doing on the back and the near side wishbone needs doing. So I'm going to remove them wheels while the car's low and then I'm going to take it up and start the wishbone. Right, so you're recording now. Okay, in the camera. Come on. Stop. one soon. Yep. Go on, stand it up, son. Stand here. Whoa. Keep hold of it. Yeah, that'll do. Thank you, son. Don't walk under it. Because I don't want you to walk under it, okay? Daddy goes under it. Right, so change plan. I was going to do the wishbone. And even for some reason, I thought it was the near side. And that's why I left the driver's side wheel on. But it turns out the wishbone is actually the driver's side. But the one that's been supplied is for the passenger side. That's not what it failed on. And it turns out it's the wrong one anyway, because this mountain point is different. So I've just sent my girlfriend and Vinny to go and rescue us to get a new wishbone. This is the actual wishbone we need. And all it is is a little rip in that dust cover there that's failed. And I don't know where you buy just the dust cover from, so we're re replacing the wishbone. But for now, I'm gonna run around the other side and fix the steering rack gator. Um, basically the cable ties just come off, which allows it to fall off where it's meant to be. So I've got a couple of cable ties here. I'm just gonna run around. I'll just show you what it's doing now. So we looked at it. Oh, that's got a little bit of a, a nick in it, but not too bad. I'm just going to replace it for the, for the sake of it, I'm just going to replace it. A few moments later. All done. I'm going to move on to the rear brakes. Right, so the next job, I'm going to try tackling this rear handbrake. It's off quite all right. To be honest with you, there's not that much wrong with these. 
don't know if they've just gone hard over time or what, but the handbrake's not working. And for the sake of what it costs, I'm just going to replace them. So first, I'm just going to clean up as much as I can and then get the new shoes out. Try and build them all back up. Now, everyone does these things different and I always have a nightmare with shoes. I don't know anyone that likes doing shoes and I always end up struggling, but that's the way it's going to be done. I'm just going to bring this down now and just make sure that the handbrake cable is working before I build it all back up because if I build it all back up, struggle like anything because they are a nightmare and then the, the cables knackered, I'll be gutted. So, well, I can get to it now. Now look at that. That's yay long. I'm going to pull it now and see if it goes shorter. Pull the handbrake. Yep, well shorter. So that handbrake is connected and it is working. Sorry, that cable. I don't know what I said though. Right, so we know that side's working. I'll tell you what, park and brake efficiency below requirements yet. Near side park and brake inoperative on one side. Right, okay. So it's saying the near side park and brake is inoperative now. So we're gonna have to check that cable as well. Might be just well out of uh, adjustment. I don't know. Or the cable might have snapped, but I have got them here. So I send it back up, build the side back up, put it on with a new disc. It's already got new pads, as the previous mechanic had put new pads in, thinking that'd sort the handbrake, which obviously didn't. There they are, the spankers. Spanking new shoes. Oh, look at them boots there now. Right, let's give this a quick clean. So just put a tiny bit of grease where the actual shoe is going to sit on, just to help it move in and out a little bit. Also what you want to check as well, is if the shoes are symmetrical, sometimes they're different. These two are the same, so all four of the new ones should be matching. There we go, so that's the arm back on. That's lovely and free, so we don't have to do nothing with that. Right, so while I was doing that, the camera turned itself off, which is brilliant. I struggled getting all these on, all the springs and stuff. So I'll just have to show you on the other side, but yeah, it was a struggle. You always have a fight with the uh, new shoes. So now the new disc's gonna go on. And then that hole in the disc there, I'm gonna line it up with that adjuster. And then we can adjust it. We'll adjust it out until it stops the disc and then back it off a little bit. That's what I tend to do. So there we go. I'll get a screwdriver through there now. Um, it'd be nice to have a wheel nut on just to keep it. I don't think they'll go all the way on though. Right, so I'll just put that on there just to keep the disc pressed firmly against its hub. So when I'm adjusting this, it's nice and flat. Lost my screwdriver again. No. Nope. Anyway, the adjuster's through there. So I'm going to get that adjusted now. Yeah, it feels like it's going hard, that. Yep, so that's locked up there now. So I back it off a little bit. Is it gone? There we go. So that's that side done. It's easy enough to turn, but it's just, just enough binding. So once that handbrake settles in, it'll be lovely. Now for this side, I'm not going to show you taking off the caliper and all that because you've seen that on the other side, but I'll show you how I put all the springs and that on. Right, so I'm going to try and show you close up what you've got to do with these. It's just springs and clips and things everywhere. So, try and get behind that one. Right, so I basically got to build the new ones up to this point, st stretch them round, put the arm 
of the, sorry, the pivot point of the arm up here in, and then build all the springs back up the top. Which when you've done it once, it's not too hard to be honest. The first one's always a nightmare. And here's the wishbone. Oops, back to that point, stretch them round, put the arm back on. Past delivery, you've been and got my parts. Yeah. Thanks, son. Done. Where? Got, um, what have we got? What have, we what have you got us, son? Mm, happy meal. You got me a happy meal? Yeah, but it's not all for you. Are we sharing it? Yeah, because I got my own and we got your own steak. Oh, wow. Look at this. I got part, parts picked up. Anna Mackie's brought. I'm not doing so bad here, am I? Right, so that's it. Uh, I've got the new wishbone here. I'm fed. I've had my Mackies. It's time to get all these springs and clips back on here. Maybe. Right, that's them clips in. Right, so that's that side all done. All the clips and springs are all back on. Just gonna put the new disc on, do what I did on the other side, get the adjuster, bring it out until it touches and then back it back in a little bit. And then that's that side done again. Just put the new the caliper carrier back on. And then this side's done, so that's the handbrake done. I'll test the handbrake then. I'll give it a pull inside and I'll see if I can turn the wheels by hand. Should be alright after that to be honest. Um, and then that's all the back end done and then I've got the new wishbone. My girlfriend actually went to the tree for that for me. Because the one that was supplied was wrong. Um, but yeah, I think once we've done the wishbone I think that's it then. I'm not sure. I'll double check anyway. But now I'm going to get that disc on. Right, so before I get on with the last thing, which is the wishbone, I'm actually going to throw the rear wheels back on now. I'm going to lower the car a little bit, pull the handbrake, and just check that the handbrake's locking both wheels up. Um, I know it's not an official test, and obviously on rollers it'll be under a lot more strain, but it just tells me that everything's working. Right, so that's it. It's the handbrake done. Now's the time for, to test it. Just going to put it on now, make sure it locks both back wheels up. And that should give us... That's a nice short handbrake. Should give us an indication whether it's going to work on, when it gets on the rollers because as of, what was it? So according to this, the near side parking brake was inoperative, which is the far side. So if it didn't work, so that's locked up. And this side, this is the side that didn't work, so hopefully now. Yeah, lovely. So now we've got a handbrake on that side. It's all nice and new. It's a pain in the backside to do, to be honest. I hate shoes. I don't think anyone likes shoes. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but. Yeah, so now we have done. Near side steering rack gate has been done. Park and brake, both of them are done. Offside front position lamp not working. She'd already done that, the girl. Well, she had someone do it. So the only one left now is the offside suspension arm and it's only the dust cover but like I said we've bought the wishbone so we're just going to chuck a wishbone on it for her and that should be failures done right so that's that done anyway let's take it back up and get the wishbone done and uh, it should be done and because I'm kind I might even give it a little wash so when it goes through MOT it looks a bit more presentable because it's the brake dust all over the wheels Right, so to remove this wishbone, all we've got to do, hang on, let me get a torch. That might help, because you can't see a thing. Right, so to remove this wishbone, all we've got to do is undo that one nut. Them two bolts there. And that one there. Pry down on this, get this ball joint out, remove that, then do the opposite. And it should be done. Ready for MOT, but we'll see. Alright. 
so these as well these sometimes get stuck in in the hub and what i tend to do is just i know there's no nut on the end just keep pressing go when it gets rid of all the corrosion once you get it out just enough you can get a spanner behind it and pull as you're backing it out it's always handy to have a wrecking bar Oh, that'd be easier to pull down to level pull those. Lovely jubbly. The old spanner trick again. And there we are, one wishbone off. And the only reason it failed the Tamil T. Because of that rip there. Anyway, let's put the bin. There's a new one supplied by GSF Car Parts. Not a sponsor, by the way. You seem to get things right most of the time. Right, so there it is. The wishbone back on. Didn't record it. Chucked it all back on. I'm done. Bloody hell. This YouTube and Zard, you know. It's not as easy as people think. Right, so. There's them bolts in. Back tight. That one and that one. Oh, right, so that's that done. I'm going to get the wheels back on now and get it outside. Right, so now that the rear wheels are all built back up and on, I'm going to just check the end brake now and see if they both lock up. So. I'm switching a short handbrake. So, drive side, lovely. Now, uh, the issue was with the near side, saying it was inoperative. Now, hopefully, this works. Yep, we got an handbrake. So, hopefully, I've sorted that. Um, and thanks to Vehicle Score for giving us in depth details of what was wrong with it and sponsoring today's video. Now, without sponsors, we wouldn't be where we're at. We wouldn't be able to do this all the time, so. So Vehicle Score is your one-stop shop to check in your car's history. So you can find out things, like if it's on finance, if it's categorized, or it's stolen. So this is all really good information to know if you're buying a car. So don't just buy it, Vehicle Score it. And if you want to save yourself 20%, don't forget to use code TVR20 at checkout, or click the link in the description below. Massive thanks to them for what they do. Oh yeah, there we go, there's the handbrake working. Gonna get it down now, I'm gonna do the wishbone. The wishbone sorted, and then I might get it out and give it a quick wash. So when I put it back in for MOT, it looks like quite presentable. It's always best to have a nice clean car, isn't it, when you're taking it for an MOT, so I think that's what I'm gonna do now. Right, so while I'm washing this car, I'm gonna give you a quick price breakdown on what it's cost. As you may remember, she was called to the Grand to get this through its MOT. Now, let's see if we've done it any cheaper. So the total for the parts was £205. The MOT itself was 45 and the labour cost was 250 quid, which comes in at exactly half the price. I'm sure she'll be happy with that. I got to spend a day in the garage with my son and earn today's wage, and the car will last another year. And so there it is, all clean, all the failures have been boxed off now. It's Saturday, so no MLT garages are going to be open. So Monday first thing, I'm going to book it back in with the garage that actually failed it. Now they are not the ones that quoted a thousand pounds, it was an independent person uh, that quoted that to get it through its MLT. But yeah, they failed on what it failed on, so they'll obviously have records of it and stuff. So I'll put it back in there. and. Like you say, it should pass. Hopefully we can get it in on Monday and then she can be back on the road. Um, yeah, so if you've liked today's video, don't forget to leave us a like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And don't forget, go and buy Audi. And we've now got air fresheners. See you in the next one.